Hey, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Ken, and I'm back to you with another one. So this one is uh, based on um, the Marcus Cousin. And yesterday at the Knicks game, he was thrown out the game. So and I'm thinking that he just joined, you know, all day to the refs that they were, you know, giving him pass after pass and then basically got to the breaking point where they couldn't take him no more. So when I look at the ESPN and saw what went on, he was being targeted. The Marcus Cousin is basically a target. So they're going to try to use him to get over on the Warriors because again the lead is a LeBron James lead and if you look at the coverage it's always what LeBron James done LeBron James this even though everybody been carrying LeBron it hasn't been the other way around but it's LeBron's team and it's just so such greatness for LeBron James and he's basically been carried by uh, Lance Stevenson so let's get back to the Marcus Cousin so Demarcus Cousin allegedly was um, jawjacking with um, with Enos Cantor, and so it was put out. Basically, an APB was put out on uh, Demarcus Cousin, and they were saying that they need to pay attention to Demarcus Cousin. So Demarcus Cousin was speaking to Draymond Green to tell him to watch out for uh, certain screens and basically use the screen to create a disadvantage uh, towards uh, Enos Cantor. So as a result, the officiating basically end up um, tagging um, DeMarcus Cousin for basically giving advice to Draymond Green about Enos Cantor. So I understand that you know, the higher up told him to watch out for them because it was jaw jacking, you know, for a couple hours between those two. But as officiating, why would you even go over there if he's not talking to Enos Cantor? So what? He, if he said his name, he didn't say it to him. So that can't create conflict. He's talking to his teammate. You know what I'm saying? That just spells like, uh, you know, a setup and then officiating has already been terrible. The lead has already got even softer. I had asked the question, how could the lead even get any softer than what it is? And based on the rules, um, basically Silver is not good for the lead. He's not, Adam Silver is not good for the lead at all because he's making the lead soft. He just want people to score, score, score all day. There's no defense. Players getting in foul trouble early. Um, a whole bunch of picks. When it, when a player try to get through a pick, they call a whole bunch of um, fouls on a player who, who basically got screened. So it's almost like if you get picked, they don't want you to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? And so the fact that the Marcus Cousin went to the Warriors, he has a very big target on his back. One even bigger than when he was on other teams. So, you know, the level that the lead is stooping to, you know, basically to target and, and tarnish uh, DeMarcus Cousin name, man, is, is, is terrible. It's terrible, man. You cannot sit there and, you know, target somebody and basically make them uh be deemed as something they wasn't at least for that night the marcus cousin has been very um quiet he haven't been loquacious you know this season yeah you know he made some uh some frowns upon calls but that doesn't warrant you know him to be targeted especially if he's not on the court and for the official um who actually uh kicked him out man he need to be fired that guy need to be fired you know, so um, that's all I got for now. It's your boy Ken. Like, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, uh, share the content. You're very welcome to do so. And that's all I got. I'm out.